Welcome back to Darkwood. So, we're in the swamp now in Chapter 2, mostly unexplored. And we've just been visited and gained reputation with the three. Which seem to be these three people wearing masks outside. Maybe they're masks, maybe that's just their actual faces. Let's go find out. Oh my god. That looks far creepier than I thought possible. The three visitors stare at me in silence as if waiting for my move. Hey, look! This one has a cowbell around its neck. Remember I found a rusted cowbell? In the pathway in the, in the underground entrance? Interesting. Okay, what is that? What is that down there? It looks like a fucking face. I suspect it's just like a bundled up sack. You know, a sack of trade goods, but it looks like a fucking face. And look, its mouth looked like it just opened up and closed. Maybe it is a fucking face, I don't know. Oh, man. I can only hear the heavy breathing of the tallest figure holding a giant bag. As the tallest figure opens the bag, the room is filled with an intense smell of mushrooms. Apparently, they wish to give me something. So, not very chatty. Okay. I wonder what's underneath the masks, which may not actually be masks. I can't show them anything, not even the cowbell. All right, what do you got? Hmm. It looks like they have... I think this is like the identical stuff to what the traitor had. Yeah, it looks like the same stuff. Okay. Well, I kind of just always want to buy ammo. Don't want to take my reputation too hard. Uh, I don't know if I have anything to sell. Let me go check. Probably not, but we'll see. Oh, handgun frame. Okay. I could sell that. Welder. Don't think I need that. Oh my god, look at the efficiency of this place. 64. I get almost a thousand essence from odd meat. My god. Yeah, let's just sell some stuff and buy some basics. So I'll sell these two. That's worth quite a lot. And I kind of just need everything. I definitely want gas. I do not want to run out of gas here. I just bought the ammo. Uh, I could use scrap, I could use nails, I could use boards, I could use wire. Um, I guess that'll do. Rags? I'll grab some rags. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, that should allow me to craft some stuff. Including a lockpick. Now I've got two on me. Got three things of fuel, excellent. Three extra shotgun shells, four magazines. For the pistol, it's pretty good. 17 boards, 28 nails, so I can do a little bit of repairing. Yeah, um, let me do some fortifying before I leave this place. Okay, used up all of my nails and most of my boards. Did this window, this door, that window, and this door. So I just gotta do this window, and then and we just got this open batch right here. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna try to stay in this area. For the night. Of course, we'll have to move when the lights go out and stuff, but... This just seems like... Much more of a nightmare to try to defend. I don't know, maybe it's not, but it feels like it. I love these little tiny cracks in the window. Or in the wall, rather. Enough that you can see something horrifying outside, but not enough that you can actually go through, or anything else can come through, I hope. Are these explosive barrels? Ooh, hello. They give you so many of these. I really need to make sure I use them. All 
All right, let's go adventuring. I'm just gonna leave these in here. I don't think there's any reason to bring them with me, really. I don't think so. That's good, that's good, that's good. Can't make any light armor. I've got the lantern on me. Okay, yeah, we're ready to go. So, where to explore? I am terrified to go to the village because I might get shot in the head. But I also feel like, almost like I'm expected to go there first because, you know, it's just right there. It's right there where you first come into this zone. It's a little bit strange, isn't it? I'm going to take a brief look over there. I'll just, like, poke my head in and see what I find. Get my stamina up before I run through this goop. I just know at some point something's one of those lizards is going to come up and swallow me. Were cent centipedes? Were these? I think they were a centipede. Whatever they were called. Shit, that's a pile of bodies. Let's put the lantern on. Whoa. Whoa! Oh my god. Holy shit. I just ripped off one of its limbs and threw it at me. Holy shit. Human spider. Whoa. What was that? Was it this way? So backpack on the ground. Hmm. It's like an abandoned sickly village. I was expecting maybe a military outpost or Something. Crows. Something must have scared them off from the huge tree. Crown. Towering over the village. What scared them off? What scared them off? Oh. Ooh. The hell did I just touch? Couldn't have been a poisonous mushroom because it didn't poison me, right? I don't know. What the hell scared them off? Is there, like, something big? If I see something big, I'm running. Oh, I hear noises. So, I can probably crawl in this window. I think I'm hearing that thing. The poison vines. fast. Oh, they're really fast. I don't think I want to use my axe against them. Oh, shit! Holy shit! Fuck! I was trying to switch my shotgun, but I guess I didn't manage to. Shit. Shit. 
Well, let's run back there, huh? It's hard to tell what's happening during combat, to be honest. I think it's... Maybe getting hit just prevents me from switching weapons or something? Like, I kept pressing shotgun and then just assumed it was out and tried to shoot it and then I couldn't... I don't know. It just seems like it's generally not worth it to switch during combat. Like, to switch weapons. Unless you have, like, a second to spare. You know, if you can, like, get a little bit far, far away from them. But if they're right up in your face, it seems like switching is just a bad idea. Well, it's almost dead. I'll go with the pistol. Yeah, definitely not an axe kind of monster. <laughs> Christ. Oh, it died on its own. I guess it was bleeding. Okay. So they come from... Yeah, dive under the water, come from a different place. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Whoa. Oh. It's just the poison things. Gas and scrap. Disassembled tractor. Is there writing on the ground? I'm gonna check that out in a sec. Thieves has been scratched out on the floor. Fires down there. Oh, there's so many places to go. Whoa. Is there something here? Is that just these over there? I guess it is. A <laughs> little rose covered welcoming mat. Doormat with a flower pattern. I'm just going to take out my shotgun. Ah. The key. I'm just going to keep my shotgun out, actually. Blocked. Oh, one of those. They just burst when they get near you, so you don't even have to shoot them necessarily. Good to know. I love that they leave just a human shaped pattern in the ground where they rip themselves out. That's so creepy. Getting hazy. Whoa. Whoa. What's that? Oh, it's some sort of. It looks like that stuff that was covering the chest that I burned away with light. Can't get to me, can it? 
Surely not. Is it going to find a way? I'm scared now. Yes, you can't crawl through small windows, so this... This is a dead end. Unless... Hmm. Do you think little cracks in the wall like this, do you think if I put down an explosive barrel or something and blew it up, do you think I could crack it open? Oh! Darkness seemed to just disappear at some point. I don't know if I burned it away or what. It was just a chomper that was, I guess, supported by the darkness or something. Anyway, yeah, I wonder if these are weak walls. Well, an axe doesn't do it. They don't have a health bar, which makes me think they probably aren't, but eh, there's a chance they could be. So wait, how did you get here? You must have went the long way. I gotta get back home. Not super soon, but I can't stay that much longer here. Can I walk on this? Almost looks like a bridge. Hmm. It's a religious painting. I'm, I recognize it. I think? Maybe? Obviously it's been changed. Mud and sticks and I think that's a root coming through that person's head. Yeah, fire pits. Who... Who lit those and rubble dig? Oh, wait, I didn't bring my shovel. I mean, not just here, but I mean, like, I didn't bring my shovel to this zone. I don't have a shovel anymore. Shit. <laughs> it's funny, it took me like 20 episodes to ever find a use for the shovel. I originally made the shovel so that I could dig that rubble that didn't even exist anymore once I went back. And now the opportunity finally shows itself again, and I don't even have it. Ah. <sighs> oh. Uh. Who are you? Fish. I don't think I want to steal their fish. Wait, bloody hell. You're alive. The old man extends his hand, blindly trying to reach me. You're not from around here, huh? You cannot be, hmm? All them lads are dead. It's only me. Me and... He finally finds my arm and grabs it. For a moment, he clutches my hand in silence. Then I hear him mumbling under his breath. I don't have anything, mate. Only this... this chair. Bloody hell. His gaze stops somewhere under the leaky barn ceiling. What? The old man suddenly jumps up. What are you saying? I feel his long fingernails digging into my hand. Ain't no fucking tree, that. It looks like a tree, but those faces... I know them, buggers. Every single one of them. So close and so fake. They're not real, they're not. From time to time, I thank God I went blind. I don't have to look at them. The old man lets go of my hand, lean against the broken back of the chair. He sighs with relief. It disgusts me. It fucking disgusts me. This buggery. This fucking scum. All the time I have to listen to its pathetic blabber, complaining all the time, as if I were supposed to believe it's human. That it's me, Zoka. Yeah, right. Or Zocha? 
Probably Zocha. He suddenly reaches towards me with both hands, almost falling out from the chair. He grabs onto my sleeve. I feel all his weight on me. You, lad, you've got your hands and legs, strong arms. I beg you, get rid of that filth from my village. I can't bear another day of that abomination wailing and sobbing. I want to die in peace, fucking hell. I want to die in peace. Listen to me. I thought about it for a long time. I've had a lot of time to think, for fuck's sake. His eyes widen. His pupils are milky white. I can feel him climbing my coat. You need to find the basement. Yaziek's basement. I remember it. It's right next to the tree. The tree is too large, so if you can't reach it from the top, you've got to try from the bottom. Find the basement. And there, surely you'll find the tree's roots. The bloody thing must have roots. That's where they are. Destroy them. Pull them. Drag them. Twist the fuck out of them. You'll find a way, huh? I know you will. The old man slides down my coat, straight into his destroyed wheelchair. For a moment, he searches for his stone, which he uses to prop himself up against the muddy floor of the barn. Thank you. Thank you. So the tree thinks it's human, but this person thinks it's a fake, and apparently the tree keeps sobbing and wailing? Zocha? But also, apparently people ask to pass the tree, and the tree shoots them in the head or something? I don't know. Something more is going on, I think, and I just need to find out for myself. Gossip. If you come across some wheels, two little wheels so that it could fix me chair, maybe you would benefit from it as well. Oh, I hope I find some. Years ago, when my eyes were good, people used to pass through here. They would leave their huts and go there, where that damned tree grows. They would often leave at night so that no one could see them. They went into the deep dark woods and never came back. Interesting. They would often leave at night so that no one could see them. And they never came back. Didn't... I remember at some point we were looking at like a picture of a road or something. Or I was maybe just examining an actual road, not a picture of it possibly. And I think my character said something about how people used to walk this road to the village, but only at night? Why did people only travel at night? So that no one could see them. Why wouldn't they want anybody to see them? Hmm. Some of them would say they're going home, but most of them are silent. I don't know. The land has changed. The trees have cut us off from the rest of the world. But home, for me, has always been here. Then that monstrous moaning abomination grew out of the ground. It blocked the passage, and that's that. No one has managed to pass through since then. Maybe people found some other place. Maybe they died of the swamps just like us. No one lives around here anymore. Everyone's dead. Only sometimes. The man lowers his voice. Sometimes I hear footsteps. They wake me up at night. The sound of bare feet against the floor. And bells, sort of. They come out of nowhere. They move towards the trees, then come back. They pass me and fall silent. They're like a nightmare, a bloody nightmare. Hmm. Bells, sort of. I wonder if they're talking about the three, with the cowbell and all that. What are you going on about again? The old man leads towards me, scowling. The wheelchair. The war took me legs, then those wankers burned my house and me pigs. But it was years after the war. They said it was to fight the disease, so they said. And my Zocha, the disease, took her from me. All I have is this wheelchair, and this land. Hmm. 
Okay, um... There's some interesting stuff here, actually. So they lost their legs in the war. And then they burned their house and their pigs, but that was years after the war. They said it was to fight the disease. Okay, so we've seen war stuff around the place, right? We heard the report of the person who... Um, the deserter? Who deserted? Yes, the deserter deserted. <laughs> Brilliant commentary. Anyway, we saw the deserter, we saw an anti-tank gun, we saw a tank... Um, actually, was it an anti-tank gun or just some sort of artillery gun? And tanks and, like, military trucks and stuff. So, there was a war. And then apparently it was years after the war that they started to, I guess, burn stuff to fight the disease. The disease must be something to do with all this, right? Something that turned people into monsters or roots or the darkness or something. Something like that. I can't imagine it was just swine flu or something. And also, my Zocha the disease took her from me. All I have is this wheelchair. So Zocha is the person that they say is the tree. The tree claims to be Zocha, right? So they see their dead wife as the tree. I wonder if everybody sees something different. Used to be different here. First the woods changed. The trees started sprouting up everywhere. We were cut off. Then the water, the, the water flooded our fields. People went crazy out of hunger. They fought over food. Yes, they're just imprisoned by these trees. Photo of a road. The old man grabs the photograph, feels it, and takes out a small glass object from his pocket and puts it to his eye. The road. The road home. What a load of bollocks. The road of madness is what it is. Ah, oh, there we go. Easier access now. Before you leave, please see if you can do something about the tree. Go to the basement. It's just next to the tree. Um... Okay, I don't have that much time though, but perhaps when I go in the basement time will stop. God, oh, this place is huge. I know, I know, the tree. You're going the opposite way. Okay. God, they're really pushing me towards the tree, but like I want to slowly explore this whole place. Wailing of the tree? Ugh. Oh, I think this might be the basement. Basement hatch. Oh. Oh, lots of stuff. Food inventory. Uh, dates? Yeah, 1983, 08, 21. Uh, six potatoes. Jessica's dead. We're down to 26. 26 people, six potatoes, half a loaf of bread, two liters of gasoline, plus one potato. Yozix. None. Five potatoes, a dog, three potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Christ, they really were starving. Let's use the flashlight. Hatch leading to the basement is blocked from the inside. The marks on it suggest someone tried to break it open. Huh. 
Huh. I wonder if that's what an explosive barrel would be for. I need to bring some explosives with me and test if I can break some things. Right, well the tree's not happening. I need to get back soon. Can I tell this person about what I saw? What? What are you saying there? Food inventory. All sorts of things used to happen in our village. Sometimes a mug got punched for some silly thing. A faint smile appears on the man's face. But we always stick together. When the time came, we had to. I sometimes hear the echoes of those times. And the trees moans. That fucking monstrosity won't let me forget. I can't do anything about the tree right now, I'm sorry. Is the body making that noise? Ew. Um, wasn't there a backpack? There's- I saw a backpack somewhere. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. That's reaching towards me. Ugh. Okay. Got a lot of cooking to do. Yeah, it's worth so much essence. Oh, I'm gonna get another shot, actually. Here we go. Okay, what maladies do we have to choose from? Weak regeneration. Healing items will be less effective. My accuracy will decrease. Ooh. Ooh, I don't want either. Once a day, I will be able to become invisible to enemies if I stay still. My vitality will increase. I will deal double damage in melee when close to death. Okay, well definitely not that. I'm not doing that. Increasing vitality sounds really good. I could definitely use more health. But what do I take? Worse accuracy or healing items will be less effective? Hmm. I feel like, the, like, pills are so effective already. Like, unless they do one-fourth the healing or something, it's still gonna be pretty good, I feel like. I really don't want my hands to be shaky. Let's do weak regeneration. No vision. How are we doing on fuel? Oh my god, I left the generator on. I left it on, didn't I? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. No worries. We got plenty of fuel. That's such a silly mistake to make. Okay, here we go. Officially nighttime. Oh yeah, look at how much more health I have. Not as much as I would have liked. I was hoping it'd be a whole another bar. Looks like it's half a bar. I'll take it though. Remember, they're gonna have to either break down one of my barricades or come through this opening or that window. 
So as long as I take a look here, I should know that something's coming. Moving the explosive barrel to the center of the room, shit. So that's useless now. Thankfully, I didn't move this. I'm, I'm gonna do Moth to a Flame. Oh, it's moving as I'm placing it. Uh-oh. Pick that up so I don't accidentally shoot it and kill myself. Somehow I've avoided, like, everything. It's... I know it's all walking around and busted down that window, but... Nothing's actually found me yet. Here we go. You know what? No. No. Someone wants to attack me? Try it. I'm gonna scream. Oh, that didn't work for long, did it? I'm surviving the nights because I desperately need that reputation to be able to buy stuff. <sighs> okay. Well, I hope you have enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to explore more of the village and bring some explosives with me.